Why, why would you want to do a solo show? Because... Um, Of my brain. You guys feeling good? Yeah, I dressed up and did my hair for this show, guys. Yeah, I would never do this. So I, I want to introduce myself for the people who don't know me. I'm uh, Kenny Sebastian. Uh, I know I look like Yani and uh, Indra Gandhi had a child. So I can't help it. Uh, I'm a Malayali. Uh, any Malayalis in the house? Yeah, uh, these guys I know. Yeah. Any other Malus? Any Malus in the house? Where, where you guys? Give me a cheer. Oh, now you don't want to admit it. <laughs> it's like shit. Like, I came with a date, now she doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah, oh, Malus, Malus, is, is tough being Malus, yeah? Yeah, Malus guys, yeah? It is tough. Because India is super racist. <laughs> it is, I mean, it's not on purpose. It's just like a genuine doubt. It's curiosity, it's not racism. Like when they say, you have an MBA, but you're Punjabi. Like that's like a genuine... <laughs> They're not used to it. What? Punjabi having MBA? Like, oh, your boyfriend, he's really fair, but he's from Chennai. What's happening? Crossbreeding. Like, it's, it's a doubt. You're paying for the dinner, you're Gujarati. What's happening? So, stuff like that, you know, it's, it's just, it's hurtful. It's hurtful. So, as a Malayali, they're like, oh, Kenny, you're Malu, you're hairy. Yes, I am. Oh, Kenny, you're Malu, you put coconut oil in. You don't put coconut oil in everything. Yeah, we do, we do, we do. We put in everything, yeah. So the worst thing as a Malayali, I face though, Kenny, you're Malu. I love banana chips! <laughs> Which makes no sense. It doesn't. It's not like uh, the cops come and they raid the, raid the house. Ghar ki talashi karo. Sir, there's banana chips everywhere, sir. There's hair in them, what? That does not happen. That that does not happen. I'm also uh, a Malu Christian. Uh, any Christians in the house? Wow, okay. What are you guys doing, guys? You have to go to church, you have to go. It's very tough being Christian uh, because all my friends are Hindu. So it's very tough to uh, keep up with the, with the rituals. It's, it's not fair. Like the thing is, I have one God. You guys have a brochure. It's amazing. It's like, you know, before we used to pray to Ganesha, but things were not working out. So now... You're praying to Shiva, hello, hey, my interest, interest rate is amazing, it's super on us. We don't have, we have one God, so it's kind of difficult. And, and I, I'll take out my Hindu friends, so, you know, lunch. And I know they eat chicken. And they're like, hey, did you order chicken? I'm like, yeah. But today's Tuesday. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. That's like my girlfriend coming to me like, hey, Kenny, uh, I'm pregnant. But it's January, so what? <laughs> It's exactly like that. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's even tougher when I'm dating friends who are dating girls called Pooja. I'm like, hey man, you want to go for a boy? No, dude, I'm doing Pooja. Okay. You want to join? It's family Pooja. Everyone is here. Are they Malayalis there? Yeah, of course. Let's talk to the front. You guys, you guys breathe the rain and came. Thank you so much. Where are you guys, where are you guys coming from? Uh, from Central Park. From Central Park. Like the mall? Or? Like where exactly? <laughs> Sorry? Austin Town. Yes. Yeah. Make up with the accent. Okay. Uh, very nice. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, I know I, since you guys are here, I want to talk about my life. <laughs> this is very important. So I went to a lovely school called Kendra Vidyalaya. Yeah. You guys know what Kendra Vidyalaya is? Yeah. Yes. So Kendra Vidyalaya is a very, 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 very poor government school. Uh, my school was so poor that some days used to go and it wasn't there. Because the wind took it away. So the watchman like, oh, huh, guy, so he just, uh, just track it down. Okay, it's gone to Indranagar now. It was in Austin town, but it couldn't handle the accent. So it just, it just went over because 
couldn't understand. No, I love Austin Town. I'm, it's, it's a lovely place. Said no one. Anyway, uh, I'm just kidding. So, uh, yeah, so, so uh, I, I sucked in studies. That's why I'm doing stand-up. So, guys, please study. Okay? Uh, wonderful subjects. CBC is amazing. It's amazing. Like, it's full of subjects that don't help your life at all. Yes. Uh, anybody read about Mohan Jadaro and Harpa Kalsu here? Yeah. Amazing. Um, basically, they have amazing drainage. That's... One whole chapter about how amazing the drainage is. They're like, no, not only they have drainage, they have sloping roofs, bro. When you take, you do 40 susu, no, it slides and whoa. This is evolution of civilization. It's horrible. How is that useful? Will I ever go to a club and a girl comes to me and she's like, hey, Danny, tell me one thing that will make me sleep with you. I'm like, Mohanjus are amazing gutter, huh? No? Don't cry, please. It's never, it's never gonna help. But, um, like, there's some subjects I like. Like, English is useful. Like, this is happening because of English. Yeah. But, uh, I think the, the king of useful subjects has to be Sanskrit. They had the audacity to make Sanskrit compulsory. They didn't give us a choice. Sanskrit is an amazing language. All the people speaking it are dead. Thank God for that. It's, it's amazing. How, who, whose idea was it to introduce Sanskrit? Huh? Didn't they have a CBC meeting? Everybody's like, you know, let's put physics, let's put maths. There's one guy like, Ugh. and then it felt bad for him. They're like, hey, what subject do you want? He's like, Sanskrit. And they're like, okay, let's, let's do Sanskrit. Other guys, you know, I think he wants oxygen. No, no, I think he said Sanskrit. Let's do Sanskrit, yeah? Sanskrit is the most useless subject ever in the history of mankind, unless I was a cop. And there was a terrorist situation. And they were holding 10 people hostage. And they only negotiate in Sanskrit. They were like, what do we do? They're holding 10 people hostage. Kenny? Yeah? Do you speak Hindi? Of course. Fifth and sixth compulsory. Awesome. Could you talk to the terrorists? Of course I can. Hello, Kim Gachami, Kim Karoti. Matra! And they let the kids go and they're like, yay! Now we can go learn Sanskrit. <laughs> they used to hit us if we get the pronunciation wrong. It's Gachami. I'm like, who's gonna correct me, man? I'm never gonna meet anybody. <laughs> but my favorite subject of all time was biology. Oh. 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 Wow, close there. Okay, very nice. I'm kidding. It's an awesome subject. Because in 10th standard, they introduced an amazing chapter. Oh, you guys know what I'm talking about? It's called human reproduction. I feel like CBC is like, you know, if you put this chapter on, they'll do 11th and 12th also. It's like a bait. It's amazing. Like, like, 10th standard is the only time that you tell your parents, you know, dad, mom, I'll go buy the textbook myself, okay? I just want to be responsible. And that's the only chapter you read in advance. You just get the book and you're like, oh, educational point. Why do you want to see a diagram of your private parts cut in half? I don't understand. It was not accurate at all. It was just gigantic. It was, it was very weird. So it's amazing. Like if eight chapters human reproduction and the seventh chapter is going on, everybody's like, dude, tomorrow's the day, bro. Tomorrow's the day. And everybody, 100% attends that day, okay? Everybody comes, they, they get ready and all, they take bath and all, they come. Everybody's full ready and... And it's very sad because all the biology teachers, unfortunately, are women and it feels so bad for them. This poor teacher, she just just coming to class, she's like, I hate my life. <laughs> and then she makes this announcement only in this class. She'll be like, if anybody laughs or giggles, they will be sent out. And all the guys are like, challenge accepted, bro. So people are giggling, they're laughing, they're getting eliminated, okay? Everybody's saying, being sent out. Final round, like 10 people left. I didn't make it, guys. I have no idea how human reproduction happens. I have no idea. I should have not laughed that day. So there are 10 people remaining, okay? And that is the day, guys, you learn about Venice and Virginia. 
Someone should have told them how to pronounce it. Someone should have told them. It's such a huge organize, educational organization. Nobody corrected them. So I thought I was ready for life. Because I didn't see this in class. So I graduated and I started talking to normal people. You know, people who don't do serious things. So I'm talking to them and they're like, Virginia. And they're like, it's Virginia. I'm like, no, it's Virginia. I was alone for a long time. Very difficult, very difficult. Another subject I really liked was Hindi, because Hindi is very useful. Um, it's, like, mostly when you have very dirty talk with learning, it's, it's very useful. It is, like, for example, sometimes you're talking to a woman, you're trying to like, chat her up, and you try to do dirty talk in English, it's too much. It's, it's too much, you're like, oh my god, like, what's happening? <laughs> it's usually the scream and run away, but I just did it like a subtle voice. So I'm really talking to a girl and be like, hey, like you push sex up ahead. <laughs> and you're like, hey, so what are you doing? You say nothing, I'm just talking to you. <laughs> and you know, there's a color of your panties and she's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's too much. But if you say that line in Hindi, it's, it's damn cute. cute. So you're like, hey, really cute, so you can't stop it. <laughs> what are you doing later? <laughs> hey, stop it, ya! Yeah. It's way, it's way cuter if you do it in Hindi. Sometimes you need to. Sometimes it doesn't work all the time. If you compliment some ladies behind you, like, "Tumara pichwala bara khadarna ke," that's still too much. But otherwise, it's quite useful. Oh, Hindi is useful. Okay, how many women in the house? Give me a cheer. How many single women in the house? Give me a cheer. What? Okay, how many single guys in the house? Oh. Single guys, single, single ladies, uh, how is it going? You guys happy? Yeah? That's what they say. Single women, I don't need a man, okay? I'm independent. Then you go home, I just want to be whole. Someone to hold and cry. I just, I just want to die old with somebody. I'm independent, okay? I don't need a man. You don't need that. It's okay. It's okay. It's very easy to be a single woman. I'll tell you why. Because it's so easy to get guys for you. Because, you, because single women are so emotionally intelligent. It's annoying. You guys can just read someone by just looking at them. This only happens with women. If you enter a room, a woman look at you, she's like, what's wrong? And you're like, yeah, how, how do you know something is wrong? I'm actually constipated. I say, see, you never let things go. That's your problem. Only women do that. They just know when something's wrong. They know when a guy likes them. Also, it's, we make it pretty obvious. This is how we go up to girls when you like them. You're like, oh. this is how you look pathetic. So that's like, like it's also very annoying how women don't know how sexy they are. They don't even realize it. Like it's so annoying. Like they don't. Like I think women untying their hair is the most sexiest thing ever. Okay, I have long hair, as you noticed. Uh, <laughs> When I untie my hair, this is how I untie it. It's just, that's it. Because you just have to take my own man out and stand. This is how women untie their hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know how distracting that is? So I, I sometimes have business meetings with women, yeah? And I'm talking to them and it's completely business related. I want to be serious, yeah? And I'm talking to her and she's like, Kenny, by the way, Kenny, just let my hair loose. It's very hot. I said, sure, go ahead. And she's like, and I'm like, la 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 All my meetings end that way. I never get any work done. Also, also the way women check out the guys is very subtle. They're like, what? Women check out guys? Yes, they do. And I found out ladies. I'm sorry. I'm going to release this information to the world. Okay? So, so I'm going to show you how women check out guys. It's very subtle, okay? So imagine I'm a hot girl, okay? That's not a joke. And so I'm a hot girl, and uh, I'm with my hot friend, and uh, we're in a mall, and a hot guy walks. It's a hot mall, okay? Everybody's hot. Everybody's hot. 
Some hot girl with a hot friend, hot guy walks by. This is how women check out. Because you're like, oh my god, he's cute. And you're like, what happened, Gary? I didn't, I didn't see anything. Well, if you want to know what happened, I have to slow down time 10,000 frames a second. Okay? Same scenario. Oh, he's slow motion. So hot girl. So anyway, I was like, <laughs> I love his shoes. Oh my God, his shoes and belt match. After shave, he's cute. <laughs> you know, guys, check out girls. <laughs> so imagine I'm an average looking guy. It's an average looking friend. It's an average model. Yeah. So, and a hot girl walks by. She's obviously lost. What is she doing in an average model? So, this hot girl walks by. This is how guys check out girls. So, bro, anyway, iPhone 6. Oh, 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 girl! Girl! Bacha, girl! Bacha! Hey, Instagram filter, which is forward filter, huh? Hey, I'm not coming for dinner today, okay? <laughs> it's, it's someone like that. <laughs> so, but I want to I want to I want to talk about a uh, really important thing, which is the opposite of love. It's breakups. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Yeah. It is. It's no loving man. <laughs> How many guys have gone through a breakup here? Just see me. Yeah. Yeah. You went through a breakup, man. Eh? How recently? Are you making this up? You can't make it? How recently was it? Uh, two years back. Two years back? That's... That's not recent. But okay. But are you, are you over it yet? Or is it still... Sure. It's okay, man. It's cool. It's cool. Brothers talking about feelings, man. Wait, you're dating her now? Are you dating her? Oh, she's like... Oh, talk about your ex now in front of everybody. It's okay. But we'll have a good time. So bring up your past. Huh? Fine. If I start talking about access, no, two days will take. Just for the introduction. I'm really sorry, I'm being dangerous. So, what's your name? Arjun. Arjun. So, so, what happened? How was the breakup? It's okay. This is two days. This is just You went one day and she wasn't there. It's just. Hey, where are you? Tina? You know, Dupatta and Close, and she just exploded. I was assuming her name is Tina. But what happened? Like, was it you, mutual breakup? Of course. Breakups are always mutual, guys. Always mutual. difficult. How long did you get, uh, like, how, how long did it take to get over it? You know what? It's cool, man. Like, you know, a lot of guys don't want to admit it. Like, it takes time to get over something. Like, or once you break up, you, you want to know if you did the right thing. So you call up your friends for advice. They never call up women because they're too diplomatic. They'll never take anyone's side. They'll be like, Kenny, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Maybe she's going through a phase of sleeping with everybody. That's. Guys are the best. Like your guy friends will take you side no matter what a horrible human being you are. You'll be like, hey man, Jason, I broke up with my girlfriend. You dump that chick, bro. Let's go to a club and pick up chicks. Which never happens. I don't know who put this into a head that you go to a club, you pick up women. You know what happens in a club? You, you buy the cheapest beer, that 150 rupees, the cheapest one. You go to the back of the club and you're like, I'm going to go home and cry. That's what happens. But uh, before I, I do something special for you, I want, I want to talk about... This is one bit I, I talk about which I have now, not done in a year. Because my favorite joke uh, is basically about how... Um, it's not fair, guys. Again, going back to the whole... You, you, like, Hindu God is so cool, man. It's so cool. Like, it's not fair. It's like I'm reading Avengers, man. I swear. You know how boring it is to read the Bible? It's so boring. Like, I was reading this, this story about Krishna, like there's some gopis running around naked and they can't find their clothes and like, Krishna, did you take our clothes? I'm like, this is what you're reading? This is awesome! 
in the bible all you read about jesus like i don't want to die that's all he sees is whining <laughs> shiva can destroy the entire universe by opening his eye do you hear what i said <laughs> shiva can destroy the entire universe by opening his eye you know what jesus can do he can walk on water <laughs> david blink can do that and and as you say krishna is a player man you have a player god <laughs> krishna goes up to chicks in the club like hey girl what's up <laughs> i go back to my place put some butter huh? <laughs> have a lot of butter <laughs> i was imagining that if jesus was in high school <laughs> with all the hindu gods he would get so bullied poor guy <laughs> I like the guy, but poor guy. If you put him around Hindu gods, he gets so bullied. <laughs> like he'll be going to school, he'll be that cute small boy with the hat. Like he's carrying a MacBook Pro. He's that guy, like you know, Android sucks. iPhone six is there, so he's like that kind of guy. <laughs> he's walking, <laughs> and then he sees Sita. Sita is a hot girl. She's like the hottest girl in school. You know those girls who give you hope. <laughs> Like those hot girls who talk to you because they feel sorry for you. <laughs> She's that. She looks at Jesus like so sad. No one talks to him. Take a small puppy. I'll go talk to him and take away his dreams. <laughs> so Jesus, so uh, Jesus and see they are talking. And then in class, he's trying to impress her. So he opens his MacBook and he shows Sita. Like, hey, Sita, that's a miracle. She says, "No, it's Photoshop." <laughs> and then suddenly Lakshman comes in and he sees what's happening. Lakshman is very, is very protective about his brother's girl. Huh? <laughs> He's like, "Hey, bro, Jesus, what's happening, bro? Huh? 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 What? You talking to? You talking to? You talking to Sita? Huh? Huh? You know she's taken, right? You know she's taken, right? Hmm? Huh? Jesus is like, hey, don't, don't do anything. I'll talk to my dad. I'll tell my dad, okay? That's his comeback. I'll talk to my dad." तो जानता है मेरा बाप कौन है इज हिस कम बैक And then Hanuman runs in. It's like, hey guys, you know Hanuman is that friend in your group that you don't like, but he follows you everywhere. <laughs> he's like the guy who starts a WhatsApp group, and he's like, hi, good morning guys, good evening guys, good morning guys, good evening guys. <laughs> hey Ram, you didn't say good morning only for Ramana. <laughs> hey, change the DP, bro. Check it out. Hey, check out this forward, bro. If you eat this, no, your worms will explode. Like your stomach will explode. Worms will come out, bro. <laughs> Sweet guy, but he's just so really pushy. So whole thing is happening, and then Shiva. Shiva is the one everybody's scared about. He's like the Tamil Rowdy. Forgive my Tamil, but it's like, hey, Yendra, tell me, ah, Kadal, ah, Kadal, what are they? Hey, Jesus! The full commotion is happening. Everybody's scared. And in some corner, there's Buddha smoking a joint. Can I do something special for you guys? Can I play some guitar for you guys? I was going to do it anyway. Now you have to talk in this sexy voice. 
can never have a good time. Never be like, hey guys, what's up? You never do that. Like, hey. I have a good time. Guitar makes everything so much better. Like, breaking someone's heart is so difficult. Like, you have to open the chest cavity, put your hand inside, and crush it. It's messy. But if you break someone's heart through a song, you could win a Grammy. So how do you do that? It's over. Yeah, it's over. Cause you're ugly. It's not so easy. Women love love songs. That's what it's called, love songs. <laughs> I love that shit. What's your name? Yeah. Sorry? Madhu. What do you do, Madhu? You're an architect. So do you have a real job? No, I'm serious, yeah. Oh, uh, architecture is job, sorry. Drawing, drawing. I also did arts. I also did arts. So, so Madhuri, what, what do you like to do on a Sunday afternoon? How do you like to spend your time? Huh? Uh, I teach on Sunday. Sorry? Yeah, I teach on Sunday. You teach? Yeah. Wow, what do you, you teach? I teach Sunday. Wow, now I can't make fun of you. Yeah. Hell. Wow, you're doing the most noblest thing a human being can do. Now make fun of me, that asshole. Wow. No, it's okay. Why are you saying sorry for helping kids? Womanly challenge. So sweet. You still go for brunch? Oh yeah, I'm going to make fun of you for that. Yeah. What's your dream job, Madhuri? To be a singer? Awesome, okay. So Madhuri wants to be a singer. The song is for her. So all the information I got from her, is it important for the song? It's not exactly. It just means it's important. Women love to hear their own name over and over again. Madhuri. 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 We could spend all day stunning. Because my heart is. Incomplete, could you complete it? A drawing, a blueprint to my heart. For the chorus, Madhuri, you just say something very dramatic, which I don't mean. Like, I would die for you. I would. Like, if it was really convenient, I would. If I could die and come back, I would totally do it. I would die for you. Every day it's not possible, but I would die for you. Every night. Everybody run out of words in the language. You say, baby, baby, baby. Whoa, baby, baby, baby. You need to have a style when you're singing. You could, you could sing like you're crying. If I ask you to <laughs> Enrique says the most vulgar shit and women are like, oh my god, that's so romantic. I wanna do you tonight. Wow, me, please. Where you get we'll make a line. This is a very innovative band called Boy Zone. So, very innovative. I don't know how they got that name. Like, hey, we are boys, we're in a zone, let's do this. There's a, there's a, there's a guy in the band called Ron Key. Yeah, he's amazing. Uh, he has a British accent, women love the British accent, yeah. And he does this whole uh, guitar fix. What are the guitar fixes? Look at a very bright light. Normal to kiss people when you're having a girl. It smells in how you can speak right to my heart. Over 
breath I'll sing the word I'll light up the door <laughs> Oh, you can sing like you're desperately horny Like James Blunt I saw her face In a lonely place And I don't know why you're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, keep the class coming. Yeah. Anybody? Anybody like John Mayer? Yeah? Fans of John Mayer? Oh, awesome. Cool. I love John Mayer. I do. Wow. If you want to sing like John Mayer, just, just sing rubbish. You put one word of English into it. And be extremely constant. Oh, you got me. You. Or oh, you can sing like you're possessed by a goat. Like Atif Aslam. Any fans of Atif Aslam here? Yeah? Awesome, I'm gonna destroy your dream. Sing like Atif Aslam, just be possessed by a goat. There's a goat here! <laughs> but uh, you don't even have to sing this. If you want to, if you, if you want to like be sexy, just leave it out. It's that simple. For example, uh, how many women go clubbing here? Yeah, yeah, you go clubbing? Yeah. So, so isn't it creepy when guys come up to you and they're like, hey, hi. <laughs> it's creepy, right? If, if I was Antonio Banderas. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's too much Spanish in me. It's amazing, like the first thing Anthony Benares talks to, like in, in any film Anthony Benares, the first conversation he has with anybody is how his, like no, no hi, no what's up, no good evening, just like his, how his entire family is murdered. <laughs> That's his first conversation, he's like, my wife is taken away from me. <laughs> my children are gone, it's okay. You wanna dance? <laughs> that's what, like, that's like the full stop of Spanish guys. Like, they take it down, but they're like, hola! Uh, any, any fans of Coldplay here? Give me a cheer. Coldplay fans! Yeah! Love Coldplay. Because I did learn a song from my Coldplay and all the lyrics are rainbow stars, yeah. It's so dumb, like all the, li the lyrics, it's like they're not even trying. Like, hey, we rhymed, no. We rhymed it. Love, no. All, all Coldplay songs are like that, so I'm going to make a Coldplay for this way. So, uh, you, you, what is your favorite planet? Other than Earth. Huh? Other than Earth. 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 Other I was like, how realistic can you get? <laughs> I'm sure when she was a school kid, and they were like, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hey, star is not little, you bloody idiots. <laughs> so she was like that. Uh, anybody else? Uh, Ma'am, you? What is your favorite color? 
Black Venus. The reason I'm asking women now, guys, because I asked a guy which is really black. Uranus, bro! High five! I love that joke. Huh? <laughs> I hate that. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. So, we're going to trust you guys. Okay. So, you said, if you had any superpower, what would you do? Super speed. How about you, man? Huh? You're 19? You're going to do something and you're going to regret super speed. I'm telling you, this is just a warning. This. I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for you. <laughs> so I got a uh, good satin, I got super speed, and I got black. That's the Kobe goes. You know this guy who Kobe sings a song? Like, leads him, he looks up in the sky like a helicopter is doing food up there. <laughs> It's amazing. I love uh, love songs. Just that there's a new trend now where you get a guy to sing Hindi with an English accent. And yeah, yeah, for no reason. In the middle of the song, for no reason. And uh, the lyrics are very simple. So, who of you guys speak Hindi? Give me a chance. Yeah, yeah. So, ma'am, you? Yeah, tell me something you did today, like a very normal thing you did. sentence that freaks out guys. That's the only sentence. I'm gonna give that to you. You deserve it. I mean the baby. I mean. <laughs> oh! Fun. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. So, I ate food today. Let's take it. I ate food today. Yeah? Good. Wait. So, I ate food today. That's the next Bollywood love song, guys. song is complete without Tere Bina. You have to put Tere Bina even if it makes no sense. I'm sure they have a music director meeting and they're like, this song is Tere Bina ka hai? This is like Ghanda song, man. Like, sorry sir, I'll put it right over here. Tere Bina, Tere Bina, Khana Khaya. Go check it out. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. You can clap. You can clap now. It's... I really love Bollywood actually. That's what makes it great. It's just that there's so much energy in Bollywood. Like for example, like like even the background score in in uh, Hindi movies like very out there. Like in background music in films in Hollywood are very simple uh, and super racist. Like I feel like a lot of background music has made me very racist. Like for example, when I went to the Dubai airport, the moment I landed, I wanted to hear this. I didn't hear that, so I'm like, I can't, I can't be in Middle East. This is, something is wrong. There should be this soundtrack playing all the time. 
you know what they play for when they show india and hollywood like tuk 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 i'm like wow that's so accurate in my body also they play tabla so soundtrack also is very like very subtle in in uh, hollywood like for example this is this is track they play to show when a man falls in love with a female character and it's like oh my god <laughs> so for example uh, where you the girl who scared me to death <laughs> what's your name Shivalika wow <laughs> Nice name And uh bro I didn't get your name yeah. Anurag Anurag so Anurag we both are like best friends in college okay And uh, Shivalika is a new girl in college Okay and we both want to she's really cute So we're talking about her and she walks in and I look at her and I fall in love with her okay So this is the soundtrack they play in all okay Anurag I'm like can you say you go Shivalika Yeah I did <laughs> Do you know your eyes are working, man? Good. Yeah, isn't she like really pretty? <laughs> She's really pretty. She is. And then she joined the walk. Okay, she. That's yeah that's great. That's a Hollywood love song. This is this song you know you looked it up from the love is a very simple so this track is about the falling in love. This is a Hindi film man. Same scenario okay. Same scenario. She will like a new girl in college. Very cute. They go the best. Same scene but it's a Bollywood film. Okay. Yeah, I don't really see the new girl so. She's really cute man. That's not what she said last time. But yeah, she's really cool. Yeah, she's really pretty, right? Yeah. And then she walks in. कैसे मुझे तुम मिल गई? किस मत पे आई ना यकीन? There are four hundred backup dancers behind me. मुझे आज कल all wearing Vennian. That's background music. That's why India is the largest seller of pepper spray. Yeah. Well, surely, a pepper spray protects you. <laughs> But that's the thing. But it's completely opposite with Western music now. Like all the all the new music, like all the nice like the guitar music we have, and all the independent music that's coming out from the West. It's completely opposite. They've gone all mellow. They've gone mellow, then they've become like normal. They've become bored. Now they're like just sleeping when they see the song. Like. Independent music, Western music is so like mellow and boring that it's almost like producers are throwing money at them and they're like, please sing one song. And they're like, okay, bro, fine. I'll do it. Good. All of us here want to like what I'm doing right now. So all the songs are like just describing what they're doing right now, and they have no energy. Like all the songs are like, I wake up. Stand on my feet. I go to the living room. I sit down on the chair. And then they realize for the chorus they need to put some energy and say something really awesome. They're like, and I can fly. I can dream another dream they lose all the energy and I go to the bathroom I stop there because the details get very sick yeah if you want to make the EDM version of that the song just add tonight in the song just put tonight there's a very time constraint in a lot of western club music everything has to happen tonight Who's going to save the world tonight bro I don't know why are you giving me this responsibility I just came to the party to have fun no tonight we have to save the world can we do it tomorrow no 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 tonight we might not get tomorrow bro oh 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 oh
very scary. So, uh, so I travel a lot. So, uh, it is difficult. So, sometimes you know, like, you know, you miss your loved ones. Um, so sometimes, like, I want, I want to write a song for this girl I'm missing. But it's very creepy when you put, when you put your words into song. I want to say I miss her, but it's coming, come across like I'm creepy. Like the song's called "I Wish I Could Put You in a Suitcase." <laughs> like you get what I'm saying, right? Like I wish, like she, I could put her in a suitcase and like I'm everywhere she's with me, you know. That's, but it sounds like I'm a serial killer, right? So the best way to make songs, um, you can get away with anything, anything if you sing jazz. Okay, so if you sing jazz, just I'm gonna play a very simple jazz progression, very badly. Whatever. I'm going to do the whole jazz thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I wish I could put you in a suitcase and carry you everywhere. I wish you were foldable and malleable. Even better if you were edible. I wish I could teleport you anywhere to the beach. The street, even my curly hair. And when I get lonely, I would smother you. And like a pillow in a crime scene, I would smother you. Oh, I need you. Oh, I miss you. I'm gonna use your body as a table, have my lunch on you. Oh, I need you. I wanna kiss you. And if you have your periods, then I will excuse you. Oh, I didn't mean that. Forget I said that the song is meant to be true Make the ladies go crazy That they join a mental institute And in every jazz song, like by this time he only has a girl like she's just like, oh my God. She's like melting like the ice cream on your car dashboard It's like she's just like melting, okay? At this point, a jazz singer is literally just having He's just making love while playing music He's like, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's one more word. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, no. Oh, maybe. Probably. Oh, oh. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> Thank you so much, that is I wish I could put in a suitcase. This is so much fun, I can do whatever I want. Because it's so sweet. Anybody listen to blues music? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so um, blues is basically, if you don't know what blues is, it's basically your, your apartment watchman <laughs> shouting all day. Because uh, his girlfriend left him. Every blues song is about how a girl left you. That's it. Blue singers are really quite old, so they are. They don't remember what they say. So just repeat, they repeat it. They think, they think they're singing it for the first time. Oh, she's gone. Oh, she's gone. She ain't coming back. Cause she's gone. Cause when she went away, she wasn't planning to come back She went outside The thing is, she took my dog When she took my dog I love my dog Cause she's gone Oh, gone all along She's leaving, go chili gay Gone Goodbye, Pata Tata, Birla. That's, that's blues. <laughs> that's blues. People who have good knowledge of blues will punch me in the face. It's like, if my child form cut, touch your other. Can we joke again? You know what? So let's, let's uh, call it a night. Let's... Okay, fine. Thank God. Because, oh, I had one more joke. So I was hoping. Like, no, Kenny, don't tell. I'm like, guys. But no, can we one more? I'm like, okay, fine, okay, I'll do one more. So we'll do that, we'll do that now? Okay, guys, uh, that's all for today. Um, 
Guys? You want me to do one more? They, they want me to do one more. I mean, uh, fine. It's so difficult being a comedian. Jesus, they just keep wanting more and more. Yeah, I will. So let's make a song on the spot. That's my USB. <laughs> so uh, you guys are going to give me words, yeah? Just give me some words and I'm going to try to make a story out of it. So make it as difficult as you can for me. Give me some random words. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Sir, what did you say? Anti-retroviral. Anti-retroviral. Are you a doctor? <laughs> you won't be a doctor. Okay. There's always one smart ass in the audience. <laughs> When you ask him for a watch, I'm like, thermodynamic principle! Huh? <laughs> okay, wait, I see. What? You doing this? What is that, basically? Sorry? AIDS drugs. AIDS drugs is called that? No wonder we're not eradicating it. Damn it. They're like, I don't want that one thing you. What is. Okay, sorry, can you repeat that? Anti retroviral. Ruining my special day. Anti retroviral. Got it. Awesome. Anti retroviral. Any other word? Strawberry truck driver. Strawberry. Someone said Chewbacca? Yeah. Yes, Chewbacca. Okay. Strawberry truck driver. Transportation. Transportation. Okay. Nail. Sorry? Nail. Why would you say Nail? <laughs> Why did you say Modi, da? I might as well if I'm on the way to killing myself. Okay. Nail. Um, truck driver, strawberry. Chewbacca. Anti retroviral. Chewbacca. Sorry? Transportation. Huh? Socks. 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 You better? Sing a song. Socks. And an iPod? I have a playlist full of sock songs. Socks. Socks. Okay. Okay, anything else? Euthanasia. Kamoor, very nice. Poker. I'm poker dogs. Very nice, anything else? Wikipedia. Wikipedia, okay. Sandwich. Sorry? Sandwich. Okay, so sandwich, Wikipedia, polka dots, socks, <laughs> transportation, Nehru, Chewbacca, truck driver, transportation, transportation, and, and, and the retro violin. Hey, I know it, okay! <laughs> Just because I did arts. I can remember this much. I did it over. Okay, so um, what's the name of the song? Give me the name of the song. Socks. <laughs> this song is called Sucks with Ant. What's your name, man? Huh? Tarika. Tarika. Oh, Tarika. Yes. This song is called Socks with Ladies and gentlemen, in life, you lose a couple of things. Your heart, your soul, your socks. This song's for you guys. I woke up one day and my socks are gone. My favorite polka dot socks, they were gone. I ordered for some to Flipkart, but Flipkart service sucks. Cause their transportation isn't up to the mark It ain't easy When you're running around with one sock It's tough at all Ever since you left me I feel like an anti-retroviral patient Patient Don't take this away from me don't put me in a position I don't want to be like Nehru in the political situation that time Yeah, it is tough oh, oh, oh. Just go and make me a sandwich A sandwich With attitude like a sock Make me a sandwich A sandwich a sandwich with strawberry Baby, baby, baby 
तू प्यार करती है तू दर्द करती है तू ऑस्टिन टाउन से तू आई है आ, तू हमेशा हर शो में वो दादी है कि तू मेरे बच्चे बच्चों की माँ बनने वाली है बनने वाली है यो यो हानी सिंगर आ, 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 बेई बे हानी बेई बे सिंगर बेई बे मिस्टर वॉल बाय tere bina thank you so much i'm kenny sebastian you've been a lovely crowd oh this show is over guys no oh, oh no you guys are sweet you guys are sweet thank you so much i want to thank a lot of people here thank you academy <laughs> I said crying if I talk about everybody so I'm just going to say good night thank you so much and I love everyone